Okay, friends, I have a very exciting module. Uh, I think it's really cool visually, and I'd like to share it with you. Um, it is called Argon. Now, we don't have to use it, and you don't have to use it. And if no one uses it, we can always turn it off. But I think it's pretty cool. It's very video gamey. So if you like it, if, if you're other anyone other than Jim, I'm, I'm sure Jim will like it. So everyone else will see if you like it. <laughs> Uh, right now, we're used to this, right? We've got this um, draggable thing. Fumo's here. Fumo wants to use something. You come in here and you click it. You can hold down Control to do a disadvantage. Hold down Alt to advantage. This works really great. Um, you know, whatever. I've added in something new here. I right click you. You will see you have this little uh, double, double sword icon. You'll also find that under the token controls here, right here. Toggle Argon Combat Heads Up Display. Are you ready for this? I'm gonna click Fumo, select that. Here is Fumo's Heads Up Display. There's a lot in here. I, this shows some basic information about Fumo, hit points, armor class, what your spell DC is. It shows you currently how many steps you have left in your turn. So as I move, you've used up all your steps. If you were dashing, there's your next five steps. If you were somehow dashing again, I don't know how that works exactly. Now it says you are definitely out of steps. Um, but so you've got a step counter in here. Uh, continuing on the left here, you have all of your saves up at the top, all of your skills here as well. You can still hold down Control or Alt to make it advantage or disadvantage. Hovering over them gives you information about them, which I think is really cool. Your passives are uh, in brackets at the side. You can uh, roll for initiative right here, and it will add you to the initiative tracker. This guy brings up your character sheet. This hides the whole Argon thing entirely. I'll get to these in a moment. They're really cool. They are weapon sets. And down here we have all of your action economy. So what can you do with your action? That's all here. What can you do with a bonus action? What's a free action for you? What's a reaction? And do you want to end your turn? So let's add some weapons really quick to Fumo's thing because that changes what comes up down here. So if we open Fumo's sheet, Fumo, let's just give you your straight up um, uh, Elderstone Forge Hammer. I can grab it and drag it here. I can grab it and drag it here. There we go. I've added your hammer to that quick item set and you'll see the hammer adds in immediately to your action here as an option. It also becomes a reaction for if you're hitting someone as they run away. And let me think, what else would you equip here? I don't know. I'm going to put your dagger in here as well as an example i don't know ah yes bonus action offhand attack so if i come here i can now do all kinds of stuff i can i can just click here and it rolls your attack which is awesome um i could hold down alt if i wanted to give you advantage and then click that hammer oh natural 20 that's some good damage right there let's go to cast a spell as an action, if you wanted to cast a spell, you can click cast a spell and it will show you all of your spells from cantrips, first level, second level, that are actions. And it shows you how many spell slots you have left for these things. Now, if you wanted to cast a bonus action spell, you'd come to the bonus action area, click cast spell, and it will show you your bonus actions and how many spell levels you have. You can also collapse these at any point if you've got a bunch of spells that you were trying to uh, trying to see too many. Come down to reactions, cast spell, shows you immediately what you've got for your reactions and shows you that you currently have no first level spell slots. You can go to your features, so maybe do you have any reaction features? You do have Warcaster. Um, do you have any bonus action features? Second Wind, right there. You can click it to use it. It shows you right there you have one usage left. Let me go to a spellcaster for a second. If we go to Sereni, or if we go to Marin, I was testing with Marin earlier, so let me, or 
Yeah, I haven't added Marin's weapons yet. If we bring this up, Marin, let's say we throw your crossbow in there. And maybe for a second weapon set, we'll set your rapier and your dagger. And now you can switch between weapon sets and you'll see that these change as you go. So crossbow gives you an action, no bonus action to attack. But if you switch to your rapier and dagger, now you have your rapier for your attack and your dagger for your offhand attack. I think this is so cool. Cast spell brings up all kinds and it's already collapsed because you have quite a few. Uh, and some of them may disappear off onto the second level here. But you can easily um, expand and see what you want to cast from here. There's your Bardic Inspiration. It shows you how many. If we click it, we can say, yep, consume it and use it. Oh, animations and everything. Uh, and you can see your counter goes down. Use item. You have a greater healing potion and crossbow bolts. Um, you can even click on some of these things. So if you wanted to say this action, I'm going to disengage. If you take the disengage action, your movement doesn't provoke opportunity attacks for the rest of the turn. Now let's say dodge. If you want to take the dodge action, you focus entirely on avoiding attacks. Everyone against attacking you has disadvantage. So we click dodge and you'll see your character actually has effects applied to it. You've taken the dodge action for your action. And if Rendar was to target you, terrible Rendar, and I just roll for him, it automatically sets it to disadvantage. He still hits you. That hurts still. I'm sorry. But he did have it with disadvantage, which it did automatically. And I think that's pretty cool. Um, when you're in it as yourself, I go to this. There should also be a... Uh, you know what? I'm not sure about that. If I go to... Hold on. I'm just going to try to move to the next round. Uh, yeah. So there's still an effect on you at the moment. Dodge. I'm not sure how always to remove that. I haven't gotten into that deep yet. Um, how to remove some of these things. But... Uh, it at least, even if you didn't use some of the buttons, it does give you like a reminder that you can shove as one of your attacks. You can dash, you can ready an action, you could use a feature. Um, so there is a lot of awesome things in here that you can use. Um, yeah. And trying out these weapon sets might be really cool. Switch between the champion's great bow and the Shattered Longsword. Um, you might want to put, for example, since you can put anything in here, you may want to put, for example, um, a roll of Divine Smite. Maybe Divine, Divine Smite in here is... Oh, maybe it takes that to know, mean action and bonus action. Like which weapon, as, as a weapon set. But even still, if you wanted to be able to have this readily available to click on, um, if you want to remove something, you can drag it down here like this. I don't know. I think this is pretty cool. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Try it out.